Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and this is a video blog. Today I'm going to be talking about new chipsets that came out from Intel. Uh, I'm going to talk about the new chipsets and also the old chipsets that the uh, new ones replaced. So uh, I, I consider this to be um, the 2011 uh, line of chips and the uh, 2010. 2011 being the newer, one, newer ones and 2010 being the older ones, right? So uh, basically, Intel released a new chipset called the Z68, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about that. But before I do, I just want to start off and talk about with the uh, older ones first, right? So um, the chipsets of 2010 is uh, the H55, the P55, and the X58. And so I've got some motherboard... Uh, models here and so this is uh, made by Gigabyte. Now this motherboard is a socket 1156 right here right that's the socket that uh, CPUs go into and so you can tell that it's H55 uh, chipset by this H55 here all of this other stuff that's uh, Gigabyte's branding so every manufacturer is going to have their own kind of numbers but um, H55 that is the uh, chipset right the chipset as you know is uh, kind of the, the thing that handles all of the SATA um, the Ethernet the uh, sound card actually not the sound card but the 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 front side bus the amount of power that the CPU gets um, and the RAM the speed of the RAM and the PCI Express lots of the video cards uh, how fast everything communicates and um, the chipset is what controls all that so it's like the traffic cop so the CPU just does processing just does you know crunches numbers but it's the chipset that feeds the CPU from all the different things from the uh, PCI Express lot, the graphics card, the RAM, the hard drive, the SATA controllers, the Ethernet, all that stuff uh, gets fed into the um, to the chipset and then off to the brain, which is the CPU. And that's a very general kind of explanation of it, right? So uh, last year they had the uh, H55, and again the next model is the uh, P55. Uh, that's just a different uh, uh, model. It had some features that's different from the H55, right? Still a socket 1156. So uh, the, the all of these um, uh, chipsets take a, a specific uh, CPU. So um, the last thing is the X58. So you can kind of think of this as being the kind of a budget one. And then a medium kind of budget, and then the higher end or flagship, right? This one has like more features. I'm not gonna get too detailed into what the differences are, but this is actually a different socket. Um, so the processors that would go into these motherboards are different from this motherboard. This is a uh, socket 1366, takes triple channel memory, and it's the X58, and it's a, uh, a higher end chipset, right? It does a lot more, has more features, right? And so these are the processors that would go into these motherboards. So we have 1156 here, right? And I don't see one for 1366 might have to change some things around but anyways uh, these are the processors that go in here and you could see that they are i3s i5s and i7s and so uh, the model numbers follows as i7 870 these are like three digit numbers here 670 680 860 and then 900s right so these are the older processors and these processors must go into those motherboards so the next uh, line of motherboards is the 2011 models that and that is the H67 the P67 
and then the newest latest and greatest uh, Z68 now these ones are all the same sockets so if you notice here it's the 1155 right these over here are 1156 Oops, not that one. 1156 right and so the uh, HCC7 is an 1155 socket right and so this is kind of the budget uh, lower end with not so many features or different features again uh, I don't really want to get into the different things that's a whole nother kind of uh, video um, and uh, here's the P50, uh, P67 and then the Z68 and if you notice here they all at the very end have this thing called the B3 now some of you uh, might have heard of Sandy Bridge um, this is the Sandy Bridge chipset some of you might have heard of the Sandy Bridge uh, breaking and uh, having this flaw and there was this massive recall that Intel did and so um, they fixed all that and the chipset is uh, now called uh, B3 so it was the B2 that was messed up and so uh, now they came out with the B3 and that's the fixed one and so all of these motherboards right here at the end you'll see a B3 that means it's the newest one that's fixed and everything's good and everything's okay so uh, the H67 is uh, one model the P57, P67 is, a, is another model and then there's the uh, Z68 which is their kind of flagship high-end model that has a lot of features and whatnot and so the processors that go in here are the Sandy Bridge processors and so these processors you could tell that they're Sandy Bridge by the numbers remember the other CPUs had a nine hundreds eight hundreds seven hundreds uh, these are in the the thousands so it's in the two thousands so there's gonna be a twenty four hundred which is two thousand four hundred uh, twenty six hundred um, and a 2500 right so there's a 2400 which is a kind of a lower slower uh, processor 2500 which is a kind of a medium and the 2600 is kind of the high end all of these processors will, will work in any of these uh, newer motherboards um, that's a 11 socket 1155 socket so uh, yeah and so the last thing to uh, watch out for is the K right here so K just means that the multiplier is unlocked and that only pertains to people who want to overclock so overclocking you can boost the power of your CPU you can increase the speed of it and there's two different ways one is to increase the speed um, of kind of like everything that's on the motherboard right the front side bus but when you do that, you kind of stress the motherboard and you're, you're uh, increasing everything on the motherboard, right? Uh, when you have an unlocked multiplier, that kind of just means you're, uh, you're multiplying something on the CPU um, and it's just the CPU and then the CPU ends up going more so that when you, when you bring up the, the front side bus, you are gonna go up a little bit but when the CPU is uh, the multiplier is higher you don't have to go as high on the motherboard um, that's kind of the, the best way I can explain it there's it's a much more complicated process uh, I don't want to get into that right now not in this kind of a video um, but yeah so that's pretty much explains the new processors and the old processors the new motherboards and the old motherboards so um, when building a system these are the kind of things that you want to go through the 2010 all of those processors are, are very good uh, so you got to look at what uh, how much your, your budget is and how much you want to spend and then what is down the line keep in mind though that those old motherboards from last year the uh, 11 socket 1156 the uh, the 800, 900, 700 model CPUs, 
all of those are going to be discontinued like all of those that's it that's there's not going to be new processors so if you bought that motherboard the upgrade path is pretty much dead there's nothing that's going to come out for that those motherboards were only out for a year which kind of sucks but that's the way it is um the new motherboards however those have an upgrade path so uh the new sandy bridge that came out processors um those are the best latest and greatest now there's going to be one more processor uh line of processors that comes out and that's going to be really great that'll work with the motherboards the new motherboards the 2011 motherboards and then there's going to be one more uh processor one of the it's called the trigate those processors will be compatible with uh, these new motherboards now after that uh it's hard to say uh, maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know um but yeah that's pretty much the things you have to consider um oh and so make sure though that when you buy this motherboard and you buy the cpu you got the right combo here because if you put a socket 1155 processor into a socket 1156 you're gonna fry something it'll fit in there it'll work or actually it won't work but it'll fit in there and when you fire it up you're gonna burn something right so make sure you get the right combo um, make sure that if you get a sandy bridge processor you get a sandy bridge compatible motherboard right a lot of people think um, that you know that it'll just work but uh, you got to make sure that you pick the right parts and so um, the last thing that you should check out is the Tom's hardware guide for picking the best processor for money this is a good way of seeing uh, how much money you have and uh, or how much money you want to spend and basically picking a processor um, that you can afford and it breaks down for you what each of these processors are um, if you want to go into detail I remember I, I didn't want to talk about all the different features of the processors because there's so many and they do different things um, this right here is pretty much uh, breaks it down for you so definitely check out uh, Tom's hardware guide for uh, the best CPU they come out with this like every month um, the best CPU for the money and the best graphics card for the money and whatnot so definitely check it out all right so that's pretty much uh, the best that I can explain the new processors and the new chipsets thanks for watching hopefully I'll have a Z68 motherboard within the next couple of weeks and I'm gonna do a video on that with uh, talking about the features and also and building a Hackintosh which by the way all the motherboards that I just showed you right there uh, three of these motherboards are known to work well in a Hackintosh system um, the latest three the 2011 ones those three those ones I've used for uh, Hackintosh systems right um, oh no wait no I'm sorry the last three the 2010 uh, pro, uh, si chipsets is the ones that I use for uh, Hackintoshes uh, I haven't tried the new the the newer 2011 models that's what I'm planning on doing in a couple of weeks all right so uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. So, uh, hope that helped. Sorry it took so long. Um, but yeah. Peace!